Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about visitation at the Estrella Jail. Now, the Estrella Jail is where they house the female inmates in Maricopa County. So this is, if you're going to visit a female inmate, this is where you would go. Now, it's located at 2939 West Durango Street. And the way you get there is you go to 35th Avenue or 27th Avenue, drive towards the middle at roughly uh, 29th Avenue, and the jail will be on the south west corner of Gibson Lane and Durango. Now pull in and park and the entrance is in the corner that's down in the southwest corner. Walk inside and when you get there uh, and you get checked in you're going to have a face-to-face -face visit with the inmate. This means you'll be at a table and there'll be a piece of wood in between you. You're not allowed to touch the inmate or pass any papers to the inmate. If you have any questions you can call the Sheriff's Information Management System line or SIMS at 602 8760322 or you can call the Estrella Jail directly if you're worried about visitation restrictions or lockdowns. That is at 602-876-1222. Now in regard to general visitation information, you can visit Sunday through Monday, that's seven days a week between 8 in the morning and 8 at night. Last sign up is at 715. Each inmate only gets one 30-minute visitation per week. Maximum two people can visit at a time. So if you're in there and you have a baby that's under 12 months old, that doesn't count as a visitor. But if the baby is one year of age or older, that does count as a visitor. Make sure when you show up you have a valid ID, not a swap meet ID, not Sam's Club. It, it has to be either a DMV, a driver's license, DMV ID card, passport, something like that. You can have no felony convictions. If you do, they won't let you in. You cannot have done any jail time in a Maricopa County jail in the last 12 months. Even if you did one day, they won't let you in. And no illegal aliens. If you are under 18 years of age, you must be accompanied by an adult. Exception is if you are married, your spouse, let's say you're 17 and you're married, you can show up with a, uh, without an adult as long as you have a valid marriage certificate and an ID. Um, if you are uh, six, 16, 17, 15, 16, or 17, you still need your ID, but you have to be with a, an adult. If you're under 14, you don't need an ID at all, just an adult. Dress code, dress conservatively, call the jail if you have questions. You don't want to show up and then be sent away because you're not dressed appropriately. Fill out the white form when you get there. Put the inmate's full name, date of birth, and their booking number. Take your ID, slide it along with the form under the window. The um, detention officer will take it and he'll call you up when it's your turn. If your loved one, if she's in there because uh, she's still awaiting trial and she hasn't been sentenced yet, give us a call. We can help. If she's already been pled guilty and is awaiting sentence, give us a call. Perhaps if she has a range, we can get her the lowest possible sentence. And lastly, if your loved one's already been sentenced, give us a call. We can file an appeal, a post-conviction relief petition, or a sentence modification and hopefully get that sentence reduced all the way or thrown out completely. You can call us at 602-307-0808 or go to our website dmcantor.com, fill out a contact form and we'll get back to you right away. It doesn't cost anything to meet with us, it takes about 30 minutes. Um, we'll go over everything from top to bottom and again that's free. So we look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care.